you are not the same age. Please say sorry to her. Stop touching her! Stop touching her! I really thought I had put this to bed. And even though the story is getting close to two weeks old, it's still trending on social media. Don't touch her! By now, I think most of the world knows about Brendan, the piano player in King's Cross St Pancras in London, who just played the piano to entertain, did live streams on YouTube basically for income, and he did really well, um, does really well with 2.1 million subscribers. Good job, well done, excellent. And we all know the story of the Chinese people behind them saying image rights, you can't film, you're not allowed, etc, etc. Now in China, yes, you do have image rights. Some people said it's the same as Japan. I don't know that one. But the person who shouted at um, Brendan... Don't touch her! ...does actually have a uh, education, education consultant coach for Chinese teachers and claims that he works for the Financial Times in the UK. It comes out he did work for the Financial Times on a contract for two days last year, but because the Financial Times is a big company near enough, the um, he puts this in his resume on websites like Linken and even on Twitter. You can go and check it out yourself. Type in Newton Lang and you can see all the stories. So he has sort of become a, at the moment, spur of the moment, um, media star, all for the wrong reasons for saying, don't touch her, etc. Don't touch her, please. Do not touch her, please. There are some stories going around as well that he has started to make some t-shirts and trying to sell them online. Now, I just found this. I did see one on one YouTuber's channel with a white t-shirt saying, don't touch it just on, on there and selling them. Is that unscrupulous? Is that demol? I don't know, but I would like to hear your comments under at Nefit. So when I did work all those hundreds of years ago, if it is an advantage, you take the advantage. And Newsom, you could say, is taking the advantage. He's making some money related to a situation, even though it was him who started the whole argument, etc., etc. There are, if you go to another part of my channel, or if you go in, you can see the Chinese response. This is the, the crazy thing about it, that there was only one western youtuber in china who supports the ccp and um, called jerry jerry good he's a south african guy and he would say this is wrong etc etc and no one else on these youtubers in china like these foreigners who live in china said anything they just kept stum about it and move on the chinese media i have searched for days related to it haven't done haven't done any news articles on Global Times or Xinhua News or China Daily. It's all been kept stunned. But the social media in China has been going on about it. And I did show that on one of my videos. I think it got like 17,000 views. So thank you very much for that. Let's just put this to rest now. In other words, um, Brendan is back by the piano. Um, he brings Winnie the Pooh. And because the dictator of China, Xi Jinping, looks like Winnie, this lovable cartoon character, but Xi Jinping doesn't like Winnie the Pooh. Winnie is not banned in China. You can actually have a Winnie the Pooh mug like this or a toy, but it can't be referred to as president or dictator or general secretary or there are some other words I'd like to use about him. So Brendan now, I would say, when he is in King's Cross St Pancras, will put Winnie there. So any Chinese CCP spies, um, television networks, etc., I'm just going to say it's not worth the hassle. And he can just continue doing his life, playing the piano, entertaining the people who are passengers, walking past, whatever, etc., can enjoy. And I think he will be left alone. And like most news cycles, this will just fade into the past. 
unless something else happens related to it, then it will jump forward to it. Don't touch her! So a couple of days ago, I did actually make a fun video of MC Hammer and um, Newton. And MC Hammer, you can't touch this, but we took away you can't touch this and we put in don't touch her. There have been some other ones there, which I've been showing throughout this video of uh, Eminem. And my name is, my name is, please stand up, putting into don't shout, don't shout at her, don't shout at her. And there's one more that I will show you a little bit later after I finished here for a period of time. And it's more like a disco version of it. And you can check these out on YouTube, on Twitter, just type in Newton Lang, type in Brendan, um, type in remixes and you will get some fun for 30 seconds. Let's leave it there for today. Thank you so much for your time. It's one thing I can never give back to you. And as always, the normal messages to like, to subscribe if you can. It's all free of charge. And if you do want to support the channel, there is the membership, there is Patreon, and there is also the uh, super thanks if you want to donate any money. And this money doesn't go to the YouTube channel like lump, some people say, I can't do it without you. This money goes to my kitty cats where I can give them some good food and some toys, etc. Cats and cat food here is not cheap, but I do love cats. My girlfriend absolutely adores cats as well. So let's play some of these um, remixes, so to speak. Then I'm going to show you something a little bit extra special. I'll be back. You are not the same age. You are not the same age. Please do not touch her. Please don't touch her. Don't touch her. You are not the same age. And welcome back to the show. I did make a video. Well, I didn't make a video. It was my sister. My sister, uh, I have three elder sisters, and this is my youngest of my elder sisters. And um, she likes to sing, and she does have quite a good voice. I'm very proud to say our family is very musical. My mum used to be a organist. Um, she studied at the Royal Academy of Music. She used to be an examiner of music with the Associated Board. My elder sister plays the cello for a living, and my middle sister is the piano and the clarinet and the oboe. My younger sister is the piano, the violin, and also a really good singer. So this is her in a recording studio hoping to hit big time. Now, if you are a recording agent or work for a big record company like Sony or Warners or whoever they are nowadays, then the link to her website is below. And if you want a great singer, well, go and check out my sister. Let's leave it there for today. And here is my sister. Bye bye for now. Cheers. Now you go through St. Louis, you jump in Missouri, and Oklahoma City looks mighty pretty.